hey, hey. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bubble Tea's Gaming and today it will be about the hunting festival and the flower carnival and the midsummer festival and what yada yada yada. Basically, it's the arrow that allows you to potentially get a chest for legion skill. I think the whole thing is around uh 300 to 400 black 3000 to 4000 black diamonds, but some people are really lucky. They use the free blue and they get it on the chest. My viewers have been asking me like, "Hey, what what dragon skill should I get?" Despite my numerous resource and my videos online, I guess they still watch it, but they just want to be sure. And hence, so far, I will be explaining what I think they should get. So if you look at this event, uh, you potentially can get a dragon passive skill selection chest. And inside this dragon skill selection chest, you can get boop, your choice of one of these 10 skills. So you can get legion damage, legion survival, legion building, legion healing, legion reroute, army counter, army anti-counter, army attack bonus, uh, army defense, and uh, army health. So, a lot of, uh, vi one viewer comment on my Facebook, one uh, viewer sent me on my Discord channel, and three people messaged me. So, here's the breakdown on what I think you should get. Okay, uh, so, before I go any further, just rough explanation. Uh, Legion damage uh, gives, like, what you call that, uh, converts your, your opponent's hospitals to kill, causing free merit or more merit. Legion survival is the opposite of the skill, causing your hospital to go to death. Legion building, bigger army size, uh, rally size, not army. Uh, Legion healing is basically 20% chance to heal your whole troops. So let's say if you have 1.6 million army size and this thing procs, you potentially get to heal 800k. So by 20%. Uh, army reroute is minus uh, 15 or 12% of your uh, the target that you're hitting. They get mysteriously disappeared and return after the battle. Army counter is when you get uh, when you counter their formation or your troops countering their troops, you get extra 3 to 5% total attack. Army anti counter is when their, their troops counter yours, you take less damage. Army attack bonus is army reversal, so you minus their attack and give it to yours. Same concept for defense and health. So, I'm uh, just going to leave the image here. Uh, or I'll put it on Godwick, or message me if you want it, or join my Discord, man. So, ma so much things to do. Okay, so here's Notepad 2020. Let me get to this. Okay, so people ask me what you should get. So, in my opinion, this is the tier list. So as you can see, uh, you shouldn't be when you're on that like stage of the game, whereby you don't have that much stats, or you're like, like I'm assuming people who spend on this event don't have the newer dragon skills, and they they're just happy to have a legion skill that is not a uh, troop health or troop defense. So if this is your first two, or you're only gonna get two because you're not planning to spend more money on the long night, or you get extremely lucky. You should be looking at the stats that the Legion uh, Dragon Skills gives. So, of all the, the one that I just listed, I just said, uh, Reroute Damage and Army Attack gives uh, Total Attack. Counter, Anti-Counter, Army Health gives Health. Defense, Survival, Healing, and Army uh, Defense gives Defense. Okay, an exception is building. Unless you're a rally lead or you, you lead rallies in your alliance or you want to have a better of chance of holding objective in UC, then your first priority should be building. But if you're not one of those roles, just stick with the one that gives uh, attack. So if you, uh, so in my tier list, it's basically this. Okay, so interesting point to note here is army attack. So army attack, and counter and anti-counter is uh, basically the same thing. So counter is better because like your multiplier when you counter is uh, by 3%, 5% more. And it's a situational thing. Same goes for anti-counter, situational. But army attack is always good. So if you're if you're if this is one of your first two skills that or first skill, legion skill that you get, or you just got extreme lucky, you're wondering what to do next. You should always take reroute. 
is good in any case than uh, legion damage because uh, you want your merit to be higher then after you get this two get army attack cause Army attack counter and anti counter is basically the same concept. You're just looking to get more damage. But I rank army attack higher because it's consistent. Counter, you only get it when you counter. Anti counter, you only get it when you get countered. So if you want to have a debate, reroute is definitely one, no contest. Damage is two. Army attack, counter, and anti counter is, uh, is tight, but the stats that Counter and anti counter give is health, but army attack gives total attack. So, if you look at it from this point of view, army attack ranks higher. Then, after you get this tree counter, anti counter, army health, survival, healing, and army defense. If you're really feeling lucky, you can try to get healing if you feel like you're gonna proc 20% of the time. Survival is actually used to be really good, but it like in a rally, you need to have more than one people that have it. And the max account or the strong rally leads are usually going to be priority, prioritizing their attack first. With the new dragon skills, I haven't see, seen a banner actually use uh, the older legion skills, which is this. They all have the new uh, dragon base commander damage. So if you're asking for my tier list, here it is though. Exception, if you're leading rallies or you one day want to hold rallies or you want a whole UC building, this should be the first one you should be getting. Other than that, just focus on the stats though, because like, if your stats are up there, then special effects takes precedence. But if your stats are below, uh, your stats takes precedence over uh, special effects, because your special effects usually tied in some way to your stats because all the commander damage is dealing 200% of your stats if your stats are low doesn't matter if you get like very high uh, commander damage proc though so this is the logic so for everyone messaging me asking me what they should get this is what I think focus on the stats of the legion uh, effects then the secondary effects so if you go by my logic is this Reroute damage army attack is exactly the flow, it's like this. Exception is your building when you need to lead rallies or you want to be the banner or you want to have a better chance at holding objective in UC. Not even holding, taking objective. So I hope this helps and uh, this is just a short uh, reply to all the people who messaged me. I thought like since more than three people messaged me, it'd be worthy of a video. So as you can see from my... Uh, window. Give me now. Uh, no pet, right? No pet. My hunting skills. Uh, I still haven't only did a few the free ones because like, uh, my dragon is more commander based damage because I have the stats like minimum requirement to enter into special effects. But if you are this is the one first legion skill that you are gonna get, I recommend using the list uh below. So, I uh, hope this helps and this is Bubble Tea Gaming signing off.